Well, hello everyone. I am not sure if this is live streaming or this is just recording, but I thought I would uh, do a little bit of painting here. So, um, <clears throat> got my uh, paints out, and what I do, I have these little palettes, and I normally cover them up with <clears throat> plastic wrap. Keeps the paints fresh. It even works with acrylic or oil. Today I'm working in acrylic. I know it looks like a mess, and I may even have to add some paint if the paint has dried. So I have my brush here. I'm using a flat brush uh, currently, and I just wet it in the water. Get the excess water off and just kind of wipe it so it's not drippy wet. I thought I would work on this terrain a little bit. This is that painting I've been working on when I have a chance. Basically, this is my reference photo. I created this digitally. It's got a um, buffalo in it. So I thought today I would do the terrain. and use the, I'm using this as my reference, reference. The tree is pretty cool, and the tree turned out relatively nicely. It does look different than the original uh, tree on the reference, but it came out pretty decently, as you can see. But anyway... This is my first time doing this this way. I'm not sure if, again, if I'm live streaming or it's just recording. So I'll be curious to find out what's going on there. I thought I would paint just a little bit of the terrain. And while I'm also looking at my reference, I noticed that this here, I never did finish this part of it here. And it kind of looks like a a little bit of burnt umber mixed with terracotta, I guess. It's kind of a terracotta brown. I thought I would bring this out a little bit. It has more of this shape to it in the original. looks to me like there might be even a little bit lighter value here too so I'll try to see if I can get these values right I'll add a little more burnt umber to the mix have different ver values of brown here this looks like it goes up like this You hear my cat, my cat might be, <laughs> be on the other side of the panel. I closed a panel so he couldn't get to me. It's getting closer to the, the look of the uh, reference photo. I think I'll go with a little bit lighter value here. Hope this is showing up well. Yeah, it does look like there's a little bit of a tan, a little bit of a tan highlight there. There we go. And I'll just kind of blend that in with my finger. Yeah, it's a little bit lighter tones there. Yeah. I'm going to go back into the dark. Sometimes burnt umber you makes a little bit of black into it and it makes a darker tone that's nice for terrain. This time I'm just going to dab it so it gives it a little bit of a texture. So it looks like there's a little shadow here and there. Paint may not be thick enough so I might have to add a little black which seems to be thicker. Yes. Ah, that's what I'm just a little highlight of tan there until I feel like I'm satisfied with the color of the terrain um, there is that lighter value also over here where the buffalo is 
standing and I gotta make sure that's in there too. Now it's a little bit too light so I'm gonna blend it with my finger. You can blend with your finger, it's fine. Kind of comes down like this. Yes. Now as I go to the left, I want it to fade out and get darker. And here it looks a little too... I want that to also blend. So I'm just going to take my finger and just slightly blend it into the darker color that's currently there. I come down a little bit more. It's almost like there's a little bit of a sandy shore there. Yes. That looks better. Try to get as close to the reference as I can. Oh yeah. Now there's that darker tone and I want to kind of incorporate that so I'm going to go back into my darker color here and drag it down. Actually, it needs a little bit more. It's kind of like black and burnt umber mixed. Let's see if I can bring that down. Yes, that's better. Now, what I'm going to do is take my mop brush and just slightly touch that. Kind of blend that dark into there. Yes, that looks good. So when I add some vegetation, or what looks like vegetation, it'll look more appropriate. So if you start picking up paint, like the, if the paint underneath is wet and you want to not have a, that tone or that value, so you're trying to put a lighter value on top of a darker value and the paint, the darker value, darker valued paint underneath is wetter. What you can do is just basically clean your brush off real well in water and uh, make sure you dry it off real well and then go back into the lighter tone. That way you don't make mud there. It's good to have different tones of brown, different tones, even a little gray. Add a little gray into your brown. Um, which is good. Oh, yeah. Kind of gives the impression that there might be rocks or something there. And, uh, you get little dried paint, pieces of paint that, because your palette has paint that had dried and turns into like a ball like shape. Just rub that off with your finger. That's easy. Now I'm going to add a little more dark again. Kind of impression that there might be rocks or something there. Yeah. There we go. Notice as I go off to the off the frame closer to the edge of the canvas, I try to go darker, darker tones because you want your focus to be towards the subject or the center where the sun is. In fact, I'm going to go here and add some lighter, like a cream color into the brown to give impression there's lighter things, rocks and things there. Yeah, that looks good. And where the the uh, buffalo is going to be, it needs to be even lighter yet. Okay. Let's see how this works over here, because I felt this needed a little... Yeah, that actually looks good too there. Like it needs a little tan. A little more tan. I like that impression. It almost looks like there's sand or something there, you know. You know, sometimes you want to go all the way to the edge, you want to give a little bit of a shadow on the near the water, because you're going to put a water line in there. So I'm going to let that dry a little bit, and I'll keep working on the detail there. But so far I'm happy with these tones. 
and this has got very little of this paint so I'll just go ahead and use it up in this area yeah that looks good pull that back a little get some of that brown tone and come out here a little yeah that looks really good you gotta remember the direction you go you you're giving the impression that's the direction of the terrain like if it's going up a hillside you want to go diagonally like it's going up and as I come down to the bottom again I get into darker values so I try to excuse me I'm hitting the camera but what I tend to do is try to go darker on the edges when it gets closer to the edge of the frame because you don't want to you gotta remember lighter tones or lighter values give uh, draw the eye and you don't want to draw the eye to the to the edge of the frame, you want the eye to be focused where the light is or where the subject is. So, so I'm going to even darken this up a little bit more just to imply there might be rocks or things there. You notice I left this dark in here because that might be grasses. There could be grasses there and you don't want to, you want to give the impression there might be something. Sometimes it's actually go, good to go up and down to impress give the impression there's vegetation. In fact, you add a little bit of green into your browns, you can kind of give the impression there might be vegetation there. It's not showing up real well right now because the paint is too wet, but later on I'll define that with something else. And then again where the buffalo is, it needs to be lighter yet, so I'm going to go back into the lighter value because this is where the buffalo is going to stand and it, it's almost a, yeah it's almost the paint is almost getting too wet so I don't want to do that either oh there we go so and then I'll just blend it in with my fingers See? gives the impression there's a lighter terrain there where the buffalo that way the buffalo will stand out a little better amongst them. Yes, that looks much better. Okay. Anyway, I will continue on with this and the grass. And I'll be right back. So I'm going to turn off the camera now. Thank you for watching.